next, we have a professor and Dr. Victor Ho. Uh, he's the head of the Department of Social and Preventive Medicine, Faculty of Medicine, University of Malaya, Malaysia. And uh, Dr. Victor Ho uh, is a professor of occupational and public health. He's the head of the Department of SPM in the University of Malaya and the Public Health Department in University of Malaya Medical Center and part of the UMMC COVID-19 Task Force since January 6, 2020. He's working with an uh, interdisciplinary team of researchers on the development of the hybrid mask sterilizer and the aerosol collector during dental treatment for COVID-19 prevention, which have uh, received several gold and silver awards, both in, Mal in Malaysia and internationally. Uh, so Dr. Ho, please. Hi, good afternoon, good morning, and good night. And thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Dr. Wong Chang, the chairman of the conference for uh, the kind introduction. And I would like to uh, also uh, honor the Honorable Kairi Gaumanuddin, the Minister of Health Malaysia, and His Excellency Kun Yang Jing, the ambassador of the People's Republic of China in, uh, in Malaysia. And also I'd like, to, I'd like to thank Mr. Ko King Ti, the president of Dr. Wu Lente's Education Society of Malaysia for basically inviting me to give this talk. And I, 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 today's talk, I will focus basically on what happened about Dr. Wu Lente's uh, legacy and how his legacy actually uh, shaped us in, uh, in, the, in the pandemic, but not just in the pandemic, but also in public health per se. And I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about my work, but in, in 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 specifically, but more generally about why we are here and how we actually can move on beyond beyond this. I'm honored to be here to speak on the work then clear over his career, but more importantly, from the what his effort in the control of Manchurian plague in 19, 1910 and 1911. And the effort Ulente has put in control of the Manchurian plate is basically very inspiring. And if you look at it, basically, I, I am a, a public health physician and I am an occupational health doctor. And my during the time of COVID-19, actually, I, I use a lot of uh, F, a lot of the things that Dr. Wu Lente has Wu Lente actually uh, used during his his uh, his time in in Man, in Manchurian. Uh, in 1910 and 1911. Let me start by maybe giving you a rundown of what he has done, but also, of course, all of you know here, most of you here, and the uh, descendants of Dr. Wu would know, would know what he has done, but this is just from my perspective as a public health physician, I would like to share with you that. All right, firstly, Firstly, Dr. Wu, after completing his medical education, after completing, uh, getting his MD, he came back to Malaysia and started to work in this uh, humble organization, the, International, uh, the Institute of Medical Research in uh, Kuala Lumpur in 1903. Then after that, in 1910, of course, Dr. Wu Lente and colleagues basically did, uh, in this picture, we see what we call a, a few epidemiologists. So it, 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 it gives us the idea of what is a field epidemiologist. And Dr. Wu Lente's uh, inspiration is that he can, he wants, he can actually get his hand dirty. This is what public health physician and public health practitioner should be doing, getting their hand dirty and actually doing work on the ground to actually look for, look for what is happening and not just, not just uh, uh, basically sitting, sitting in the clinic and, and, and diagnosing diseases, but going down to actually find and work. And that, that is an inspiration, getting your hand dirty. And that I think all of us in the field of public health and also in the field of medicine must do that. And that, that is important for us. And that is a lesson that uh, we, we, need, we need to learn from, the, from his time and how he actually have done it in an elegant manner. In, that, 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 that is what, uh, the, the, the lessons that I can learn from Dr. Wu. Because the lecture is actually focusing on his legacy and how his legacy actually shaped public health and also how his, how basically what he had done during that time are important to public health per se. This is from my perspective, all right? 
And you can see that a lot of people in this picture actually wearing a mask, face mask. And I think a lot of have been said about Dr. Wu's mask. It's not about the mask per se that, that is important. It's not about his invention of what he did, but about how he approached the problem from his perspective, how he looked at it, not just from a medical perspective, but understanding the basic sciences. That is what we, we try to tell our students. You must come from the perspective that you must understand your basic sciences, understand your physics, understand your biology, understand your chemistry before actually you go in to do medicine. Because by understanding basic sciences of how air flows and by how to, how to, how to reduce transmission of uh, epidemiology, how, by understanding the epidemiological triangle of how an uh, organism spread, how an airborne organism spread. That is how Dr. Wu, that is the legacy, the innovation of using simple method to prevent the spread of a respiratory organism, respiratory disease. So that is what we need to know. And that basically is what we do, what I did during the COVID-19 pandemic. We're looking at it from not doing, not just looking at from high, what you call it, from, in, from, in, 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 from expensive inter intervention, but looking at it from simple intervention, how can we use simple intervention to control the disease? The first thing we understand from 2020, when we first focus on COVID-19 is to look at it, and we know that it is airborne. We know that it is transmitted to respiratory droplets or airborne infection, and that is where we try to control the airflow. We try to limit the airflow. We try to isolate the patient, and that is where that's when we build isolation uh, rooms, and we build curtains around the isolation rooms to prevent the spread of the disease from to people outside. And that are basic sciences, basic information. And that, I think, is what Dr. Wu's legacy is about. It's not just, it's about getting his hands dirty. It's about using, understanding the basic concept, basic sciences to actually use that information to help you to manage. When, I think when Dr. Wu went, went, went to Manchuria during that time, and not knowing what he's facing, and that is what we need. We need, we need to know that is by the by the the very fact that you need to basically know what you're doing, and then and then and then carry on from there. And that is what that's why the innovation that I have, I have, I have designed with other other uh, colleagues from my dental faculty and also from my engineering faculty is that we use the basic sciences to see how to, how to prevent the disease from spreading, how to look at it from, how to understand that this is an airborne, airborne virus and how the airborne virus spread. And that is, that is the legacy that we think we need, we need to do. And, and also he, is, he, is, he, he, he works in the front line. He dares to go in the front line and, and, and do things. And that is what, we need to teach our, our medical student, we need to teach our public health student that you cannot just be in hospital, you cannot just be in clinic. You need to go and see your patient where they are and where the disease is. That's why when I teach my student in public health, in occupational health, I say that you need to go and see them in where they are and understand their situation before you actually can manage their disease properly. And this, and today we are not, we are, I'm not, I'm here because we are not talking about Dr. Wu as a doctor. We are not talking about Dr. Wu as epidemiologist or bacteriologist, but he's a public health physician. He showed us how a, a public health physician supposed to act, supposed to be not just as a doctor, but also as an advocate, as being able to move, uh, to, to speak to people, to, to convince government, to convince individuals to actually work together and solve the problem. And of course, during this COVID-19, we can see a lot of the things that he has done during the uh, Manchurian plague that has been used here again. One of the things is using what is available to actually 
built a hospital. He basically he used what is available, all the other all the available facilities to build a hospital. That's what we did in in Malaysia, where basically we used our available facilities and convert the current available facilities to build more hospital. So his like his what he did also about the lockdown, the movement control order, the quarantine, and understand epidemiology of disease and using basic public health. Uh, methods to actually solve the problem. So I would like to end this uh, lecture by basically, hopefully that his legacy, his, what he did, how he approached the problem is what we should be learning about. There's not how he works. And this one thing that we want, want that is one, uh, I think there's one quote that he basically had is that, you don't look at things as a problem. You don't look at crisis as a problem. You look at crisis as an opportunity. And that is what he did. Instead of staying here in Malaysia, he went to China to solve a crisis problem where he is much more needed. Thank you very much. Thank you.